Hello guys and uh, welcome back. So today I'm playing a little bit of the um, Aftermath, well Romero, Romero's Aftermath. Um, it is Infestation Survivor Story. Um, it's a group of guys that apparently have come away from that and I think it's um, the developer's son that's actually running the project. And so far it looks just the same. Sound effects are horrid. I mean, I mean, come on, I mean, what's, what's this nonsense? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to be basically playing a little bit of this. See what happens and see if it is any different to what Infestation Survivor Stories is. Um, it is early access. Early Alpha, if you have um, a copy of Infestation Survivor Stories and you've met some sort of criteria, then uh, you are eligible to actually get into the early access. I mean, so far, obviously, sound effects, as you can probably hear, are not very good. And um, they do apparently have vehicles in here. So, I mean, for an early access game which has just been released just a few days ago, um, I think it's going to be a little. Okay. I mean, over the course of a few days, they have updated it a fair few times. I mean, oh, let's just tread over here. Let's have a look. I mean, as you can see, I mean, my graphics are on the highest setting it'll go, and it doesn't look very pretty. And you also get the odd frame rate drop too. Oh, look, zombie. Looks same as the infestation. I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of infestation, how terrible of a game it actually was. And it's just for the hackers. As you can see, it is literally just the same engine they've used. Yep. Yeah. Alright, that's so uh, disappointing. Still runs like a plonker. Can you kind of drive this? Let's have a look. Mushroom soup. So, I mean, how do I collect this? I'm sure you what do I do is run over it. Alright, I think this game's broken. Whoa! God knows where that just came from. Can, give me that. Okay, so you actually can't pick up items. I mean, what? what's this? Okay, so I've already bugged the game. <laughs> That's that reaches. Looks like some crossover between zombie type and vampire type thing. You're not touching me, little fucker. Alright, okay, so I'm just going to try and figure out the controls. So. I have literally just pressed every single button on my keyboard and I literally can't pick anything up. Alright, so that's a little bit of a bummer. I've also noticed as well that there doesn't seem to be um, an interface. I mean, one, two, two gives me a weapon. Three, I'm eating something, I don't even know what I'm eating. I mean, what, what, what is this nonsense? You know? And yet, yeah, crawls like a buffoon. Um yeah, so first impressions, not very good, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna figure out the area to another town. Oh in fact, speak of the devil and, and the usual rise. Uh there is something over there. Let's have a look. I mean look at look at Sailor graphics. Um apparently the reason why he actually came away and made a whole new game is basically the, the sole reason of the engine. They, they could literally not do anything with the engine. But it looks like they've just reused the engine. So obviously it looks like it's going to be just another 
money making scheme and a quick rip off for us uh, hardcore zombie fans out there. I mean, right now, H1Z1, definitely the best one on the market right now. Oh look, I'm in some, I'm guessing this is someone's base. Um, not a clue. I mean, I'm guessing there's just, I don't know. God knows what's going on right now. Looks like it's someone building the little base up here. I'm sure I've seen a town somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to uh, tod along over to a town and see if I can find something else. Okay, so I decided to uh, literally reload the whole of my game. The reason for this is literally I don't think any of my keys are working other than moving around and obviously um, attacking things. I need some sort of interface to see how much food and drink I have left. So I'm just going to wait for the loading screen and then we should jump straight back into it. Okay, so we're back in. And I actually don't think it gives you an interface, which is a very, very poor design. And it has spawned me somewhere completely different. But bear in mind, you know, take into consideration that this game has only been available for about three or four days. So, uh... uh it's got, I feel a little bit optimistic about it, but not very much, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go over to this tent over here. I mean, look at look at the grass. It's like look, look. You see it there? Look, look. It's like 2D. I mean, 2D. 2D shrubs and 2D grass. The only thing 3D is trees and bloody cactus. Hmm. So, do we have a flashlight? I mean. Hmm. Okay, so I, I think it gives you your inventory. I've not a clue. It's very, very broken right now. So let's just check out this military tent. It would be nice to find an area where we can uh, have a look. Oh, look, a zombie just spawned randomly. I mean, I think I might have to kill my character. Get this zombie slap me on there. Come here, you mister. Ah! Okay, so you get slapped once and you die. You must wait 53 seconds to respawn outside a safe zone. Um, that's disappointing. I mean, I literally cannot do anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's just uh, wait for this. Okay, so I thought I'd show you the menu anyway. Um, after finally actually fighting for like 10 minutes to try and actually get it to load back in. As you can see, it is literally all of this GC, which is in infestation. Survivor stories, funnily enough. Um, and I literally, I tried to look at the graphics and I literally cannot change anything. Let's see if that works any, any better. Cool. So let's just see. Okay, so I managed to change all of my details. So let's just let's just go back into the game, thinking it will be all sorts. So we'll just join any random server. Let's go into this one. As you can see, it's literally the same loading screens as Infestation. So uh, when they say to you, uh, it's, um, "Is it going to be a different game?" They are telling lies. So we'll just wait for the screen and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> So after all that, it's looking promising now. We have an interface and everything. And I know that I'm, I'm, co I'm literally comparing this to Infestation, but it is literally the same type of game. Made by the same people. And they literally stated in the description that it's uh, it is stepping away from Infestation and creating its own unique zombie survival so uh, yeah at least we have an interface now let's uh, keep running down this road and see if we can find something intriguing so um, 
at least the map's working now so I can actually show you guys this as well uh, the map is actually pretty cool shows you uh, where you literally can get all your uh, your little encampments and you know and stuff like that so I'm literally going to head over to uh, Wigston Farm see if we can actually find something of use there so uh, we'll cut ahead to there now so we are literally at the ridge just uh, below the, uh, the, the farm so I'm just going to check out these buildings see if we can actually pick some stuff up now uh, yeah okay so you still have to hold E smoke grenades all right let's, let's, I'm intrigued let's let's throw this let's see what this looks like okay um where's the smoke I mean isn't the smoke grenade supposed to pop out smoke oh okay it did eventually cool so I mean that, that that's quite cool then uh, what's this here cheese chowder lovely water Cream of mushroom. Let's have a look at my backpack. I don't want this in here. So as you can see, it's literally the same interface and everything. Uh, it's literally infestation has just been rebranded. Epinephrine shot. Okay, so that'll come in under. MREs. Still get the annoying bleeping sound, but you know it's it's fine. Um, Break into chemicals. Ah, right, okay, cool. So I mean, can, can I make a bomb? Oh, okay, that's how you do it then. So I mean, I went, I actually wanted to purify the water, but uh, you know, never mind. I made some chemicals at least. Hacker pack. Give me this. Let's uh, put it on. I mean, how do I wear this? Change pack. Drop this. So we've got a bigger backpack. You know. Always better to have a bigger backpack. So now you can actually see the game in its like zone compass. What's this? 45 caliber bullets. Stomach medicine. <laughs> okay. Plenty of epi epi epinephrine. So the loot is is is, pe is plentiful. You know, I mean that that's that is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what they, you do with this stuff. Stomach relief. So, you know, if you've got shits, then I suppose that'll sort that out. Uh, purification tablets. That's what I wanted. Alright, so I'm going to purify this. Clean water. So a whole pack of tablets to clean that. Bloody hell. Oh, oh you can customise. So you can customise in-game. Clean shave. Let's have some... Uh, Scraggy hair. Oh, and there you go. This is what costs you all the money. Oh, red scarf. I'll have that for free. Helmets. We'll have that. Legs. Wow, quite costly. I'm guessing, obviously, the the, uh, the the books. I'm guessing that is literally just for you can actually get that in the game. Um, from killing zombies and things. So I mean, I mean, it does. It, it, yeah, that's what we want. We want the shirt UK. Yeah. Alright, okay, so uh, let's go back to the backpack. Um, four bullets. I'm guessing that's what that means, times four. It's like, yeah, I think it goes in single units. So we'll get some energy drink, and we've got a lot of epinephrine. So I'm probably going to lose all this when I get to the farm. Um, let's have a look where we are. So I need to go that way. Indeed, I do. So, I mean, I think most of the food and drink, it, it, I don't think it's actually going down. And it's actually quite cool that when you pick up a compass, you actually have it in the top right corner. That's a good feature. I mean, you, you don't have to keep getting it out to have a look to change it, you know, the direction you head in, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, they, they found it just over this ridge here. Just gonna run on over. I mean, these sound effects are actually getting quite annoying. I mean, it seems like I have unlimited sprint as well. So that, that's quite cool. And like I said, if you... Oh, 
Let's do a um, a poo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, sneak past these. Okay, so you can't go prone from crouch. Alright, that's a bit... Let's just hope we don't get these zombies on us. I mean, I don't find it being one hit again. So, I mean, I can see zombies look to just surround the outer edge. So let's move away from that one. Head over to this area here. So, I mean, the game could have a lot of potential. They just really need to uh, step away from the corniness. And obviously, this game is pay to win. Oh, well, I think he's having a little sleep there. So, I mean, if you don't mind people spending shitloads of money for you to spend hours getting something and then kill you instantly, then uh, this is probably going to be your game. Right. So, uh, look out for Tweedledee there. What's these? Shotgun shells. Okay, so I found loads of ammo. Just no weapons. Cloth rag. Guessing we can make bandages with that? Uh, purification. Bar of soap. Fancy a wash? Oh. Bandages. Dirty water. I mean, this is a bit weird. Literally sneaking around and not hearing a footstep. So, uh, I mean, I think we're pretty clear. Oh. Just have to make sure I still have sound. Traveller's pack. What do we have on us right now? So it doesn't actually tell you what bag you have on you right now. Okay. Can I sneak through here? I can indeed. Oh, a floating platform there. Why not? Wooden bat. Cool, so we have a weapon now. Bar of soap. I literally, I'm literally just picking up everything to see what a lot of stuff does. Oh, fireworks. I'm intrigued. Okay, let's see what fireworks do. Um. Alright, okay, so, so don't let you remove things. Oh, there we are. Can I throw it? Alright, okay, what does it do? Breaks into cloth and stone. Okay. Box tools, this is essential crap and component. Better hang on to this. Alright, and fair enough. Purify. Um, soap gives you adhesive. That's quite cool. And it rags into cloth. Um, can I make a bomb? I mean, crafting. What can I make? Makeshift sheller. Alright, so you need five tools, ten plastic. So you need quite a lot to make a little sheller. I can make a little stash box. That's quite cool. Camping sack. So it's got a lot of crafting you know, elements to it, which is quite cool. Make a little side arm here. So, uh, yeah, let's go back into the game anyway. Let's see what we can harvest. You need a special tool to harvest these. What I need is a flashlight. Because I can't see tip from tat. <laughs> Flame on torch. Flame on! Okay, so <laughs> I just let me pick it up. 
Ah, there we are. Cloth rag. Item. <laughs> no space. Okay. So. Okay, so one rag you get two cloth. What's this item? Stash box. Learn recipe. So you have to... Okay, so you have to find blueprints to... Uh... Alright, that's quite cool. Find blueprints to make things. That's quite handy. I mean, can't you have like this? That's as... a bit... Alright, okay, so that's a bit of a poor design. Go to a kind of a factory bullets. I mean, I think I've done this building now. Potato seed. Die then. Fucking hell. G.I. Joe, motherfucker. Okay, so they actually hurt. Oh, right, okay. So, uh, um, we have a vehicle. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna get out of that. I just haven't finished on looking around. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry, that that just made me laugh a little bit. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Crude harvesting axe. That would be, be better. Okay, so I'm just going to drink this. Don't really need that. I'm just going to use this. So, uh, yeah. Um, drink this too. Right, okay, so it was get the fuel pod. t -Lanix. Uh, what's this do? Say that it's great for relieving symptoms of sickness or conduct a infection. Right, I've used that, so I, I've actually took a few hits, so, uh, let's just see what it does. Right. 45 caliber bullets. <laughs> Oh fucking hell! Get this timing then. All right, okay. So that that took a uh, quite a lot. I mean, what what does a wooden crate do? No space. No, right, let's just uh, let's just don't really need that. I'm just intrigued to see what this wooden crate does. Can I uh, put it down and? Wood. Okay, fair enough. So I'll just put them in my inventory for now just to free up some space. Tasty window cleaner. <laughs> Alright then. Heavy flashlight, that's what we need. Just as it gets daylight, what do you find? A fucking flashlight. What well, question is how do you Alright, how do you use it? You know? Batteries? Oh, F. Derp. Don't need a smoke grenade. Medical alcohol. Box of lard. Take the bullets. I'll take the medical alcohol. I'm guessing you need this to create some kind of concoction. Craft homemade brew alcohol brew, stop the minor amount of bleeding can cure any blood infection. Cause the slight stigma used. All right then. Cures a large amount of food poisoning. All right, cool. So you can actually get food poisoning. That's pretty sweet. I don't need that. I have a flashlight. That's all you need. So what's your weapon of choice in the zombie apocalypse? A flashlight. 
Cool, so... Okay, so there's... I'll take that tile next, because like I said, I really need that stuff. Just to uh, clear up some medical. So we're... Uh, I'm guessing you have to jump on this. Oh. Okay, so we got a whole hundred feet and then uh, realised we were out of fuel. Right. It's a farm, right? You should have a, a fuel point. I mean, what's in here? More bullets. <laughs> should never leave home without one. Cool, so I've actually managed to find a bigger backpack whilst I'm here. So that's actually been worth coming back in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way towards another area. Uh, I'm just going to look at the map and let's see where we want to go. Let's go to Not Cosville. Ah, just leave him. Cool. Hold on. Cool. So let's head over to uh now. Oh. Okay, so right now I'm harvesting a tree with this axe I picked up. So I'm just going to see what this does. Um, Alright, okay, so I've harvested it apparently. Does it go straight to my inventory? Um, no. Harvest resource to collect materials. Alright, so we'll try again. So where's where's my uh Alright okay so I think the harvesting's actually broken. Never mind. So we're just gonna go over to uh Lurkwell Farm and then up to Knoxville from there. See what uh, we can get from here. Okay, so I'll come away a little bit. I'm gonna try this tree because uh literally I'm intrigued to see what it actually does if it works. So I'm gonna get one more chance. I mean, God knows what's going on. Alright, so I'm just going to give it a, a one more go, see if actually tree disappears. So it's uh, very broken then, I'm guessing. Never mind. Looks like there's a little caravan there. So we'll head over there. See what this will bring. Nice if I can get a weapon, just so I can see what it actually sounds like. Hiker pack, we've got bigger. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna harvest these. See if these do me any better. Oh dear me. No. Oh, okay, so it actually does something. So, <laughs> right, so all that time I've been waiting for something to drop on the floor, it actually go directly to my inventory. I had four, now I have nine. It's a bit of a pain, though, if you're having to, if you get, if you're only getting one wood per, like, ten seconds you're hitting it. 
I mean, that's going to take you a while just to build a makeshift shelter. Let alone any walls or watchtowers. So we have 10 wood. Um, what do you need for a shelter? 15. And you need 25 metal. Okay, so that's actually going to be uh, quite a while before we can make that. So I'm just going to drink this because my energy is uh, running pretty low. And I may as well break it into metal. Let's have a look in this little caravan. Why can't we just like fortify this? Yeah. Dirty water. Uh, breaking tool. And I'll go back into metal. Prison shank. No. Schwepsy. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like Pepsi. But just a knockoff because they haven't paid for the rights. Alright, so break that into more wood. Metal, sorry. 45 caliber bullet. So there's a lot of bullets, just no weapons. Hmm, strange. Right, okay, so we'll head over to the farm. Okay, so this hatchet actually hits stone as well. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what this gives me. One stone. That's a bit of a pain, that. It's going to take anyone forever to make something on that. So, we've made it to the second farm on the road to uh, the nearest town. Just going to check out a couple of uh, these Zs. Oh. Right, from the side. Okay, so these actually really do hurt. They take far too long to kill. Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, bail. Because I'm really low in health right now. see him <laughs> never mind anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there uh, basically I feel this game has a little potential I'm not gonna say a lot because if they don't listen to their fans and they don't listen to people that are going to play this game like they did with infestation survivor stories uh, previously known as War Z then they're not gonna have a successful build I mean the key to making a successful game is having the people to back it so let's just hope they uh, learn and actually listen to the, t the fans. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.